compared to like the next artist that we're going to talk about, Tierra Whack, man, this uh, this project is exciting as hell. Like okay. I, you you mentioned to me that there was this fifteen minute, fifteen song album where each song is exactly one minute. I was like, I have a feeling this is gonna be trash. <laughs> like the, I mean, we've been talking about how someone like uh, you know. Uh, ski mask the slump god how shorter is better give us Solid. tracks that are digestible exactly um but i was like a minute that's not a, that's barely even a song how can you make a song that and then i watched this this visual album with with whack world and man mm-hmm. this impressed me what talk, talk to me about your your impressions of tiara whack yeah i mean she only had a handful of loose songs mm-hmm. out before this came out and um like officially as tiara whack it's funny because like seven years ago she started like freestyling Mm -hmm. under uh, the name drizzy driz she's out of philly so she met mill back then she met asap rocky back then she was on some radio stations like freestyle and just spitting and like showing her ability right Mm -hmm. and like uh uh rocky actually compared her like sound like flow to kendrick back then like seven years ago right when she's 16. um so then she comes back now as tiara whack and the 15 one you know one minute songs could be incredibly gimmicky and i do think that there is limitations to it but because this album like flips sound minute to minute yeah uh the, the, you basically flip all genres across this this album there's a lot a lot in there um and it's funny that it's an album that you need to revisit to digest more despite only being 15 minutes long mm-hmm. so well i don't think it's like the end all be all. I do think there's limitations. A lot of these songs feel like they're just picking up in the end. And the next thing we go to like a jarring new sound for the next track, you know? Yeah. So I think if anything, this is just this amazing proof of concept that Tierra Whack is incredibly talented and uh, has a lot more to show us. So, how, but how, yeah, it's impressive. How fucking ballsy too, for your first like real release to be like, yeah, I'm going to do something that no one else has ever done. And I, I'm not only going to, make this album that's a heavy concept album and very uh you know very experimental but i'm gonna do it with this video that is out there and the but it's and it switches up constantly and she tries so many different styles uh i give her a lot of credit because i mean i don't think this is the best album of the year but it's probably the most inventive one we've we've reviewed mm-hmm. um, For sure. and not only that but the songs on here are good like there, I yeah. I wanted more from a lot of these songs, you know. Oh yeah, that that's the thing. It's like some of them time it's disappointing that the song already ended. <laughs> I'm like this song fucking slaps. You yeah, know? and she's funny too. Like yeah. I, I found myself during some of these songs being like, I had to go back and listen to Cable Guy because I was like, Am I hearing this right? <laughs> and I, it's good. I think Pen Cemetery is the same way. Oh. Well, sounds awesome. It's funny. Has a mm-hmm. double meaning. You know. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of pretty ugly. There's a lot, of, mm-hmm. a lot of songs like that. that yeah. Cannot say anything else, any, any, you know, more anything negative. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, and uh, I feel like uh, this is. I mean, it's a solid album in and of itself. But I feel like this just makes me want to hear more of what she's going to be able to do and how she's going to be pushing, you know, albums. What it means to make an album. What it means to, yeah, take a concept and and really explore it. Um, I don't know. I, I guess my hope is that she stays unconventional, but I, at the same time, I really want to hear like a full length song from her. Like I would love to hear um, fruit well, salad. She, like a she does. Have, yeah, exactly. Yeah. She does yeah. have some full lengths, but I think now, you know, with this in mind, this right. level of artistry achieved, mm-hmm. you know, what can you do? Like she has like incredibly high ceiling now mm-hmm. in terms of like the next record she makes, she can make something really, really special. Right. You know, if, more conventional and you know could be she could tell a great story you know she clearly has a lot going on so uh again very impressed it's worth everyone's time because it doesn't take any time <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh you might what? need like 30 minutes because you gotta listen to it twice which is incredibly hard to understand but it's yeah. kudos to the work man it's good what was your favorite part of the video uh i, I jumped around a lot mm-hmm. but i thought the video was cool i mean it's honestly it's kind of a no-brainer whether yeah. the small to do one of those, you know, got me mm-hmm. lemonade shit, but yeah, the video's dope. I, I thought probably fuck off was my favorite one where she's singing in this really high pitched voice about this like ex boyfriend and going around cutting the balloons as she's doing it. I mm-hmm. thought that was awesome. Also, Dr. Seuss, how she like 
comes out of the house at the very end, like breaks out of it. I thought was very cool. Um, yeah, and probably my favorite song was probably Pet Cemetery on this. Just it's so catchy, mm-hmm. and uh, like I said, I would love to hear her actually make that a real song. Um, so just a lot to love here. Um, any last thoughts on this before we move on to Saul? Just definitely listen, listen to your whack. Tell people about your whack and not mainstream. Not getting a lot of. Uh, I mean, she she's got some like features and like profiles on like the Fader and Stereo Gum and stuff, but you know she's very unknown still. So spread the word. Yeah, if you want to sound like you're uh, like a true rap head and like you know like what's good, be like, yeah, T.R. Wax, my favorite new artist. People will, people will probably uh, be impressed by that. <laughs> the best don't rapper know. out of Philly is not <laughs> Uzi or Meek Mill. It's T.R. Wax. <laughs> Yo, but M- Meek is still a vibe right now. Like, it Meek, is true. He's having a Meek, great year. Meek fucks with T.R. though, so it's all good. Talking about the winners and losers, Meek is a winner this year, no doubt.